everyone. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> if you do not celebrate Valentine's Day, something you could do is brush up on your black history, because it also is the month that honors that. Or if you're also someone who doesn't have someone to share this holiday with, take the day to try to love yourself. I know it's not easy, but as they say, one day at a time, right? Many of us think we have to go above and beyond for those we love or ourselves even. The smallest things really do matter, no matter where you are or who you're with. So in honor of Valentine's Day, I thought it would have been a cute idea to obviously vlog this experience. I'm not very good at remembering to do certain things, but I'm trying my best. Having to have to remember the camera as if it's like my phone now and I have to take it everywhere, like my keys, it's quite difficult. I have a lot of things. Honestly, <laughs> I might have overdid myself, but who cares? I could literally die tomorrow, so at least I'll go out with a bang. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Most of you may know, but for those who don't, I'm in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend. For the past nine months, we've been on and off long distance and it's been quite difficult for the both of us. It's so funny because before I was the one traveling and now he's the one traveling and all he has to his name is a suitcase or two. So I really tried hard not to get him too much just because I know that he doesn't have space for it. But I just couldn't resist. I had to do something special for us. Oh my God, and I have to show you guys something really funny. I ended up finding this on Amazon. It's like a fake little prescription. <laughs> Anti-asshole aspirin. <laughs> Stops you from being a complete asshole. World's best pain in the ass killer. Effective short-term relief from being an asshole to everyone around you. For severe symptoms, definitely yours. It literally says definitely yours in brackets. Insert one pill into your anus for every six hours. Please do not look or speak to anyone until symptoms subside. Assholeness can be infectious. And guess what I put in it? It's so funny. A cute little pill. <laughs> And inside it is a little note that l says happy Valentine's day. I don't want to take it apart because it's really difficult to put back together, but <laughs> come on, tell me that's not the funniest thing ever. So worth the money. And guys, I also took the time to attempt to make chocolate strawberries. Oh my God, it was like way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I made them in advance, of course, but I guess maybe the temperature in my fridge wasn't really holding the chocolate to the strawberry, but I tried my best. I hope he likes them. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about what I have here on the bed. So I went to the dollar store, Walmart, and got a couple things off of Amazon. Well, of course, before the surprise, he gets his card, which is, of course, very funny. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I'll give you the V later. <laughs> Come on, that's so me. Are we actually being for real? And we all know the dollar store isn't the dollar store anymore, so this was like $4. This guy was like $5. I thought this was not you. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up keeping all these stuffed animals because he's not gonna take them. I got these really cute dollar store light clips and these pictures that I cut out. I'm gonna clip them to the lights. They're gonna look so cute. Like I literally want to date myself at this point. I got him a water bottle. Honestly, I know he has one already, but I think he'll love this one more. <laughs> this book I found on Amazon. See, I forget to like record the things that I do. I ended up wrapping it like off camera. Sue me. <laughs> My boyfriend is extremely intelligent, so Artificial Intelligence 2041. Apparently the author of this book talks about the curiosity and the fears of what's to come with AI. He literally wants a job that pertains to artificial intelligence, so I think he will love this book. Yeah. <laughs> like banner thing that you have to like literally blow up yourself. I'm gonna die. Pray for me. Also, don't judge me. This basket, I washed it, okay, to be fair. It's from my car. 
I used to hold my soccer balls in this. I, I'm going to laugh if he recognizes this basket. He probably won't, but look, there's no point in spending money on a basket that's not going to be used after this. It's just, it's whatever. Valentine's Day tissue paper from the dollar store. Super cute. I just bunched all of it up. And underneath it, I put bubble wrap to kind of give it like a little bit of a lift. So everything that I put in it sits higher. Um, this one's not so special, but I thought it was cute. This I kind of made myself. It's just a little jar of Starbursts. The best colors, of course. I kind of tried to do a bow myself. Ooh. Ooh. Look, I know what some people are going to say, but I could care less. Black, in a way, is so elegant. And for a man, you know... Mm. <laughs> this is a preserved black rose from Amazon. Honestly, it's really hard to see, but it's beautiful. If you don't know, you do know now. Gustavo is a Hershey's fanatic. So I have to go all out and get a bunch of his favorites. <laughs> Funny story, we went to a movie theater and we watched a movie. He got some of these, ate them, and didn't share them with me. I opened this ever so carefully, ate some of them, and then closed it just to make sure I got some. <laughs> it's actually so funny because if you open this and you look on the inside of it, there's like a little rat hole <laughs> because there's clear film and I just stuck my finger and like opened it and then ate some of them. <laughs> I also got these, which I thought he might like to try. For this gift, I actually created a separate montage, which you'll be watching right now. So it's a little jar that has a hundred pills inside of it. When you order it, it comes with 200 pieces of different colored paper that you can write little messages on and then you can roll them up and it comes with the ring and you put the paper inside the ring and you put the message back inside the pill. I decided this was a cute little intimate gift that I could give my baby when he is lacking in something, especially when I'm not with him. I really hope he likes this gift because it took me a long fucking time. <laughs> I also got him his own air tag. Oh. These balloons are from Party City. They probably cost me like 20 bucks. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do just yet, but I'll figure it out. Oh my God, and another funny story about these balloons. I paid for 10, right? Trusting the woman that she would have gave me 10 balloons. But when I counted them, I realized that there's only nine. But then I remembered, are you ready? It's our nine month anniversary. Like, come on, that couldn't have worked out any better. <laughs> oh my God, I almost forgot. I'm gonna make him wear these. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm literally gonna say to him, like, you're not allowed to see your surprise unless you wear these. <laughs> Before I start the bed, make sure you hit that like button. Love you guys, and here we go. Okay, for this next part, just in case anybody's wondering, the flower petals are fake. They are from the dollar store. <laughs> Set the time and 
place and I'll meet you there I can't lie to you though, my OCD is killing me right now. So this bouquet, I'm not having it right now. Those two balloons that are in the same position. Ready? Three, two, one. Looks like I'll be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> because tomorrow morning, very early, I have to pick up Gustavo from the airport and he'll be coming home to this. So I'll see you in the morning. Look, this was my bed last night. <laughs> I didn't even have a blanket. I used my jacket. I used my jacket as a blanket. What would you do for love? <laughs> hey, hi, how are you? Good, good. Yeah. Two? Uh, you have a you have like an egg salad, croissant, something like that, right? I just don't know what it's With called. With like avocado in it? No, no, you have to add the avocado, please. Oh. The spread. Yeah. To go? Uh, yes. To go, please. Thank also, you. Also, can can one of them be like pressed so it can be warmed up? Oh, what? They just, just for one of them. Guys, he ordered a croissant pressed. What does that even mean? A pressed croissant. I've seen it happen. What's wrong with You're you? You're acting like I'm making this up and <laughs> nobody has ever pressed a croissant. What's way? Like, 23 kilograms is the limit. It was at 30. <laughs> so, actually, it's at 31.5. And she's like, You're lucky at 32. We just say no. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Also, can you tell that I slept here last night? Look, there's this, this, and the hairball. <laughs> Ew, what are you doing? I'm just trying to smell if you cheated. What the hell? How would you know? I would know. I'm like a dog. Okay, I made Gustavo go get the Polaroid because I forgot it in the car and I had to change my outfit and here we go. <laughs> the first thing we have to start with is you have to wear these and I take a Polaroid or you have to wear them for the whole duration of the video. One or the other? Yeah, you have to pick one. Uh, okay, I'll do the Polaroid. <laughs> <laughs> I love how it looks like it's not a headband. Like, you can't see the headband part? Yeah, no, they're just anime. <laughs> gotcha. Stop. Yeah, give me a guess. <laughs> My first gift? Yeah. This prescription, huh? Mm hmm. Prescription. Ask your pharmacist. Why does it just say prescription? <laughs> Usually it's like a brand or something. <laughs> Anti asshole. <laughs> Aspirin. <laughs> World's best pain in the ass. <laughs> Insert one pill into the anus every six hours. Please do not look or speak to anyone until sy symptoms subside. <laughs> Assholeness can be infectious. <laughs> oh, that's okay, great. Okay, open now. Oh my God, what's in it? <laughs> Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> My antlers. You're a mess. What is this a good love mail? Open. What do you mean open? Open. Oh my god. Open. Okay, you're, I can't lie, you're creative with your gifts. Isn't it? Like what? what it's is so this? It's fun. This thing. Yes, yeah, cool, cool, cool. How the fuck do you think of this shit, baby? Because I'm funny. 
Yeah, you're hilarious. Clear. It's like Happy Valentine's asshole. Oh. Yeah, not right. asshole though. Well, I thought it would be part of the joke. Man, that would have been good shit. I guess I'll put it on the back. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. Asshole on the back. Aww. I know you. Mm. Isn't that funny? I was You're like, hilarious. this is so me. I love you. Is- you can open. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Hi. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, that shit right now. Look how pretty it looks like this with the door closed. Holy baby. Look. This looks amazing. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. It's slow wow, because... you tied it onto the road? Isn't it cute? That's so creative. I just have to make sure I don't fall backwards, okay? <laughs> I'm going down my bridal like. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting married yet. I mean, you're trying to earn it. How much do you trust me? Uh, Baby! That's questionable. Uh, <laughs> depends. You see, I didn't see that coming up. <laughs> Stay on here, don't move. Okay. Center yourself there. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous. One, two, three. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, the pictures! Mm. Aw, baby. Hi. <laughs> Don't cry on me, okay? No, I'm not. I it's, love just, you. it's just, it's just hot in here. It's sweaty. <laughs> my hands are sweaty. Oh baby, I love you so much. This is so amazing. I love you. I love you, baby. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. I mean, obviously the window kind of ruins it. It's okay. I know. But it's so I get the idea. cute. This is so amazing. Um, I didn't say you could open that yet. <laughs> baby! Isn't that funny? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I fucking love it. I hate you. You weren't supposed to open that yet. What do you mean? You gave me my gifts and you didn't tell me when I can open them? Yeah! Fries before guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this. Oh yeah, this is the one you Yeah, said. I probably won't give you that. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. What do you say? Wow. Water bottle is the one that, that I had in the car that you said you liked. Oh yeah. Thick. I've always wanted like a. Oh shit, it comes with like a whole. No, but it's here. sick because it holds your phone and your keys. Yeah, and it has like a straw. Yeah, the only thing about the other one, the Stanley, I didn't like how the straw was just open all the time. And I like, know. I thought about it over time and I was like, oh my god, it's just collecting like. like bacteria. All the bacteria and they're just fucking swallowing all that. <laughs> that would be something that you would say. Look how sad and dead this thing is. It's okay. I love it. You take it out of water for less than 24 hours and look what happens to it. Oh, of course, baby. I mean, take oxygen away from a person, what happens to it? Mm. All right, what is this? This looks cool. I haven't so seen this the one. author of this book talks about um, his curiosity and his fears of Ooh, what is to come. AI? Yeah, with Ooh. artificial intelligence. Yeah. I thought you really would like this book. Considering I definitely am going to love this book. Mm. Wow. This is so cool. I'm actually really excited to read this. Right? I might read some of it tonight. Contactless love. Oh my god. That's going to be a big one. I got you an ear tag. <gasps> Thank you, baby. So now you can These see- are so useful. Yeah, so now you'll know every step I take. <laughs> <laughs> every step you take? Yeah. But you already have an ear tag. You're not getting the joke? You'll be able to see every move I make. Oh, because I'm going to put it on you? Yeah. <laughs> it's candy? They're chocolate bars. They're little, little, mini chocolate bars. Like mini versions of this. Oh, I just thought they were like candy no. flavored though. I fucking love these. I know. Those- you just got me all the types of Hershey's. Mm. Ooh, these are fucking... Just, You're literally are, a these, whore. These gotta You're go. a whore for that. Yeah, I am. I'm a big fat slut. I put these on top. Oh my god, in Reese's. Okay, funny story. Ready? Yeah, these are my my second favorite. Can you open them actually? Oh my god, you had a couple. I kind of want one. No, I want one. No, you had a couple already, didn't you? Oh, there's something in it, isn't there? I know you. Just open the box. I know you. So why do you have to literally analyze everything? Because you're just just be. Can you just not be aware? Just not be aware. Just just. That's not no. No, I can't do that. Baby mugs. (laughs) Because you're always so so full of surprises. I fucking knew it. <laughs> she already had like fucking half of the box. 
Why? Because you didn't share the ones you bought at the movie theater when we went together. That's such bullshit because That's... I gave you some after. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You ate the whole thing and then I realized... Because I bought you a them. whole bag of things for so yourself. Don't lie. Don't lie straight to my face. You gave me some after. What do you mean? Well, I didn't... I didn't, oh, uh, 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 I didn't uh, think uh, about uh, it. I gave you yours, so I didn't think you'd want some of mine. Wow. You want some? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? It's a preserved black rose. I know, but it's still pretty. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's amazing. It so still cool. looks sick, regardless. So cool. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, like I would definitely just like have this in my, like, like just like on your bedside. It's so yeah, like elegant. on my bedside or like next to my jewelry. I love it. Like yeah, next to my bed or something. It's so nice. Thank you, baby. Mm. This the last one. Oh my gosh. My last one. This one's like wrapped up in everything. Mm -hmm. Cocaine? No. Maybe. Sorry. There's more of these? It's a hundred messages. Wait, you handwritten though? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. Baby, you're crazy. How long did this take you? Mm. Well, I did like five or six every day. Five or six every day? There's no meaning to the logo, but I just thought you could open one every day. For a hundred days. Wow, I love you, baby. And they all say different things. I am yours. Oh, I love that. Okay, cut. <laughs> when I tell people I'm popping pills, yeah, they're love notes from my girl, bitch. <laughs> oh, look at all the rose petals on your butt. Turn around. Next. <laughs> when I told you I shit roses, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. And here I am, I haven't even got a haircut. I'm not even shaved. Like. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, that is so cute. That's amazing. Yeah, but what's the word? It's like a uh, silhouette, silhouette. Yeah. I think for me, you know, Have you had a rough my time journey around that? love has been interesting because <laughs> with my family, I grew up, we always said I love you to each other, always. I see that. Anytime you, like we always had the mindset of like, at any moment you could die and you could just go. That's true. And so, we always had a thing with my mom, my sisters. Our last words, if we are leaving the house or leaving something, is always, I love you. Right. So that way it's like, whatever happens, those are our last words. Right. You know? And going through relationships, as you mature and you go through life, you know, through high school years, with my exes, with friends that I've had, seeing how disconnected people can be from the concept of love. It, I don't know. It, it was really hard to navigate all that. And it, and it really taught me a lot about in the end how everything starts and ends with you and you know it's it's <laughs> i went full circle you know because a part of me over time tried to find love from other places because i started feeling like i i don't know you didn't have it in your like i didn't have enough because well you know like through my own story i've just been i've had to really mature very quickly and very young and through maturity comes a lot of experiences and pain and and hardships and during those times you forget what love even means i think i did my best to show love like to my exes and the friends around me but a lot of the times over the years you know you don't feel it reciprocated at least not to the extent that you provided and everyone's different right no for sure right but that's what i mean though it's i think the lesson in that is i want everybody out there to understand love is extremely subjective not everybody really truly understands just what love even means a lot of people just think love is something as simple as you know, a kiss on the forehead, and that's love, and they call it a day, and and I think that's okay. I think at the end, I think it comes down to just, you know, between relationships, between yourself and your friends, you know, I think everybody should have a conversation, <clears throat> and most of all, between yourself. Like, I think we, we judge ourselves too much every day. We forget that not everything that we have to comment on has to always be about getting better. Sometimes you just gotta love who you are right now, today. Amen. You know? I and like I think that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. baby. Oh, I love you. So the message is, you know, on this Valentine's Day, if you don't have a special someone, which of course I'm extremely humbled and honored to have you in my life, baby. Me too. But if you don't have somebody out there and, you know, I know it puts you in a mindset where you're kind of sad about it. And you wonder why nobody for some reason wants to love you or whatever. One, check in with yourself. The reality is maybe you're just, you're not ready to love other people because you just don't love yourself completely yet. Like not to the way you should, you know? And so I think finding self-love is what will lead to you finding 
any person out there, well, whoever it is, you never know who it is that will come around and reciprocate it, but you have to show them by just loving yourself first. You have to be it. The beauty around that though is that when you learn to do that, then you'll realize you don't even need other people for that. Um, and I think the message in that is to just take time with yourself, you know, converse with yourself, tell yourself how amazing you are. And, and if you feel like you have to improve in some areas, fine, you know, acknowledge it. Acknowledgement is power. When you acknowledge things, that's when you can finally change them. Nobody's ever changed for the better by thinking the worst, the worst of themselves. So. Oh, I love that. You're so inspirational. <laughs> I could listen to you talk <laughs> all day. I once heard that relationships are not meant to make each other happy. You're meant to find happiness and then find people that you can share that with. But that all comes down to you. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's my message. Happy Valentine's to all. I love you. I love you. I love you guys. I love you. <laughs> is that your other bitch? Excuse me, that was your phone. Was it? Oh, gotta go.